ciao. It's Italian for hello and goodbye, actually. Um, but it does work because it's hello. Um, so, I don't know if anyone noticed, but my friend Clay finally put in writing that he wanted me to blog about um, True Blood and Game of Thrones. I'm going to do a separate um, vlog about each one because they both deserve their own vlog. Um, True Blood, I actually didn't start watching it till this year, um, till the hype, like, really got big, I guess. Um, I never had HBO in, um, real life, like, on TV, so I had to find another way to watch, um, True Blood, and probably one of the reasons I didn't really get into it when it started, but, um, yeah, I, first of all, when I first started watching, I thought that from the poster that I had seen, um, I thought that it was going to be way different. Like, I thought, I had no idea that it was, like, going to be Southern or, um, yeah, I don't know, my perception of the show was completely different than um, how it was. But I liked, I liked that it's Southern, I liked... Yeah, I liked all that. It's it didn't disappoint me at all. Um, I think I knew that I was going to like it when I was watching the credits for the first time and like the front credits or beginning credits, and they did an emotion an emotion transfer. And if you, it's a photography thing, and that part where they're scrunching up. Um, that thing that says true blood, that's an emulsion transfer. Um, and they're really fun to do. So I was like, huh, I think I'll really like this just for that reason. Um, and then I saw Anna Pinkin or however, Pinkwin or however you say her last name. And I was like, how the hell do I know her face? Like, why do I know her face? So I had to pause it. Um, because I was watching it on my computer, so I deposit and search her all over the place, and she's from Fly Away Home. <laughs> yes! Best movie ever! Second reason to love the show. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I just really got hooked, like, immediately was hooked. Um, like, obsessively hooked, and it, it was probably actually really bad. Um, but I really just liked the storylines and that they were making it really realistic, like, really, um, just, I don't know, like, true to life in certain situations, um, and, you know, like, that they were trying to be, you know, come out and be real people or what the vampires or whatever I don't know I just liked that whole background to it and then um um yeah then as I got like deeper into the show when more supernatural stuff started happening I was like whoa this is getting a little nuts but um um you know I was okay with it because of the way the show was going and oh my god when they were, I got, I was like really upset when I thought that they were going to turn Sookie's brother, is it Jason? I think it's Jason. I haven't, I haven't watched it in a long time, so I'm already starting to get their names. How horrible. But, um, when he was going to be turned into a panther, I was like, come on, like, you know, like, that's so lame. He, like, just because he's normal doesn't mean he can't stay normal, like a normal human being. So I was, like, really upset by that. But then he didn't, and I was like, good, thank God. Like, that, like, it, I don't know. That would have made it way too weird and way too complicated. And, yeah, so I'm glad they chose to keep him human. Um, yeah, I really, I don't know why I like this show so much. Like, it's just really catchy and... Um, I think they're really smart with how they end the show. They end you, they always end the show, each episode with a cliffhanger. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, 
in that, you know, that's a really good way to catch viewers and keep viewers watching. And um, what kills me, though, is I had the, what was it, first four seasons, whatever, how many seasons there have been. Um, I watched them all in a short span of time because there's only 10 in each season, 10 episodes. So I watched these, what, 40 episodes, and then I was like, there was no more. And I was like, well, what? what am I going to do with my time? Like, I don't know. I don't know, be social and focus on schoolwork, but really, what am I going to do with my time? So I was like really going through like withdrawal almost. And I started becoming, um, slightly obsessed about, um, the show, like just in, in terms of like, I, would ha I was having really crazy dreams about, you know, vampires and shapeshifters and stuff like that and really just wanted shapeshifters to be real for, like, just the longest. I, I mean, I still want shapeshifters to be real because I think that would just be so awesome. But, um, I'm so lame. But, I don't know, it's just really catchy and, you know, they've really done a good job and Besides, um, Suki and the guy who plays Jason, I, I don't, um, Anna and whoever plays Jason, I don't, I can't remember his name, um, all the, I believe almost all the other actors I had never seen before, so I, I liked that, so it was like, it was way more believable in that sense, like, because they're not like, you know, if it was like, Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie and it wouldn't be as believable because they're they're not you know because they're clearly actors I don't know I think it's more fun when characters are brought to life by people that haven't maybe not as well known or um or just haven't been seen before um yeah so I thought that was really smart of producers or whoever casted the show and um yeah their bodies don't suck either you know ooh, got some good looking people on that show let me tell you let me tell you um also I really yeah I really liked when Eric um the vampire Eric was for forgot who he was and was so sweet to Suki and was so innocently like in love with her and um, all of that. Yeah, I really liked that um, time in True Blood. And um, that witch girl, that witch is crazy. Crazy. And oh, I can't believe they killed off Jesus. I mean, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> I really liked him and I liked Lafayette having somebody to love and all that stuff, but the way that they, you know, said that he's a medium and he can always talk to him makes me think that he'll be making some more appearances, and, um, I also don't know how I feel about them killing off Sam's brother. I thought it was nice for him to have, like, some family, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but I guess it was getting dangerous for him because he was turning into his brother uncontrollably and sometimes controllably. So I don't know. Um, let's see. What else can I talk about? True Blood. Um, I don't know. I just love it. I just think it's such a good show. Um, it's, it's a little gory when they kill the vampires. I don't like that part. I don't like when they kill vampires. I think what they turn into is nasty. Why they gotta be all exploded and shit? Like, why can't they just die or keel over and just not explode? You know, like, ugh. I don't know. I don't, I don't like that. Um, and, oh, I guess I can talk about this too. I There is a little bit of contradiction um, with, like, I guess what I don't like is that each show about vampires slash movie slash whatever 
has a different view of vampires or like vampires have different rules or things that are their weaknesses or things that don't happen and do happen and um like for example in vampire diaries um they have rings which they can wear to walk out in the daylight whereas um here, like in uh, True Blood, they don't have those. Excuse me, they don't. Okay, they don't have those kind of rings. They can't walk out in the daylight at all. Um, not even when it's not sunny. Like they sleep in the ground. Like all this old school vampire stuff. Um, that you know, I don't know, like old school vampire stuff. Um, there are some good things that you know that coincide with the I don't even know if I'm using correct words here I'm really tired I'm sorry um you know like co not coincidences um compare they're good comparisons like um um the fact that vampires can't enter a house um, a human's house without asking um permission first um I like that they that's like kind of across the board um and you know, oh, human blood or um excuse me human blood or um i don't know i just like i like the shows and i i like vampire diaries as well um probably because those boys are do not suck to look at at all um they are gorgeous so that helps but um yeah, I real I'm really excited for next season of True Blood and can't wait for it. Um, but yeah, they got some sexy people. Even the homegirls, homegirls are pretty hot too. Like Anna, she got a damn good body. And Tara, I don't know her real name, but Tara, go ahead, girl. You go ahead. You looking good. <laughs> um, yes. Yes, that, I think that's about it, that I should, I mean, this is already 12 minutes, so, but yes, these are definitely, this is definitely a rant on True Blood. Clay, I hope this was satisfactory for you. If it's not, I will talk about it more, and you can give me a couple topics on which I shall talk. Okay, well, since I'm done talking about this, I will stop. Because it is now at 13 minutes. Well, a few seconds short. So I'm going to stop before it's 13. Bye.